Hey, Julie Roussel here in Empowering You. So I wanted to pop in real quick today for the Saturday Skinny. And the Saturday Skinny is when I'm sharing valuable tips, not just in skincare, but everyday helpful tips as well and other aspects of life so that you can get value out of them too. So I wanted to quickly share with you today um, about the ombre method. And it's a new method of washing my washing hair that um, was described by my friend Abby. And it's a different way of washing the hair. So I don't know about you, but uh, sometimes it's all about in the how that makes the biggest difference and shows the biggest results. And I learned that in my skincare routine. So I figured if I'm struggling with my hair care routine, why not try something new? So I noticed a problem with my hair. I was no, <coughs> excuse me. I noticed that I was using, you know, big gobs of shampoo and a lot of suds and then rinse, you know, and throw some conditioner on, you know, done. And that's the way you do, way you wash your hair as well. But what I noticed was that I had a lot of product residue um, right on the top of my scalp and um, my scalp didn't feel clean and it still had a lot of that product and stuff hanging around even after one or two washings. So I tried various kinds of shampoos and cleansing or dandruff that were going to clean that out and remove all of that gunk and build up and some had some um, results, but not a whole lot. I didn't notice a whole lot of difference and not much change as well. And I also had to be careful what I chose because not all of them were safe for the colors that I used to, you know, hide those nasty grays. But I wanted to demonstrate a quick method that's been helping me a lot with um, cleaning my hair out so I noticed a difference. It's called the ombre method, like I said. And what you want to do is take your shampoo, whatever shampoo that you're using, and now, of course, make sure you've really, really rinsed your hair very thoroughly so that it's very wet with a lot of water. Okay, so you want to take about a dime size amount. If you have soft water, you know, I don't know how well you can see, but um, that's just a dime size amount. And, oh dear, I'm about to drip. But you want to take that dime size amount and you want to work little bits of the product onto your fingertips. And what you're gonna do is apply it mainly at the roots of your hair and you're going to massage it into the root area. But you wanna massage gently. It's not supposed to be hard, big tangly circles. And um, you're applying it to the roots and massaging it gently. And you wanna leave it on for about a two minute time period. So what it will do is it will help you break down all of the product and grease and oil that is kind of hanging out by the roots. And if you're like me and you get really sweaty, it'll help break down the oil as well. Oh, hey, I see a, we have someone on. I don't know who it is, it's not showing up, but hey, thanks for popping in. Hopefully you're gonna find this valuable. And again, the key when you're washing your hair, you don't wanna pile it into a big snaggy mess on the top of your head because all it's gonna do is create a lot of knots. And all you're doing is just working the product right here on your roots to start with. Okay, so then you would go ahead and leave it on for two minutes, like I said, and then you would want to rinse again with the same water. Second step of this is to take the same amount that I showed you with the shampoo and a nickel size for, for hard water and dime size for soft water. And you're going to, this time you're going to do the same thing. You're going to massage it from your scalp and just continue to gently work it through the rest of your hair. And the key is you don't want to take just a gob of shampoo and apply it directly to the ends of your hair. You know, you want to make certain that you are getting the product out of your scalp off the majority of the hair follicle as well as the strands. You want to work it through your hair because again, it, the product is going to get worked through to the ends as you're working it through your hair. But you, again, you don't want to apply it directly to there. Third thing is after you've rinsed, you then want to go with, again, you two more minutes and then you go with the conditioner. Now the conditioner, again, um, if your hair is really, really long, you're gonna end up using a little bit more because you know the end of your hair is a lot longer. But if your hair is short like mine, um, all you need is just a tiny little bit on the tips of your fingers and all you're doing is just working it through the ends of your hair. You don't want to apply it to your scalp. And this is the key thing that I had to learn. And I noticed a huge difference in my hair and what, what I could wash off my scalp when I remembered not to do that. So in your, your conditioner, then rinse it out, easy peasy. 
And like I said, for short hair, you only need a small bit. And for longer hair, again, you're working it through mainly the ends. So with the ombre method, the two keys are number one, um, you don't want to apply the shampoo directly to your ends, but you do want to apply the con and no conditioner on your scalp and conditioner only applied to the ends of your hair. So since I started washing my hair using the ombre technique, which is kind of like the, um, I think they call it the ombre because of how many people have the ombre coloring for their highlights and stuff. But I've noticed some changes in my hair. I've noticed that I'm using a lot less shampoo. I've noticed that I don't have a lot of the product buildup here and on the sides where I usually would see it. I don't have that flakiness or dry scalp patches and the irritations that I would notice at the roots. And my hair feels a lot lighter, a lot shiny. It seems to be a lot shinier as well as it doesn't feel weighed down by a lot of the products that I'm using. So um, like I said, um, I hope that you find the ombre method helpful. And for me, it's a very helpful visualization in remembering the this new way to this new technique to wash my hair. And I'm hoping that it will give you the same kind of results that I did out of the products that you're using. So if you found this to be helpful, you now would you please um, leave me a reaction or drop a comment in the thread below? I'd appreciate it. And I hope that it helps you out. So that's the ombre method. I'll catch you later with another version of the Saturday Skitty.